welcome to geeks for geeks today i'm going to start concept in computer graphic that is image resolution and pixel per inch so these two are very very important terms that you need to be understand before you are learning the subject of computer graphics image resolution and pixel per inch before understanding the concept of what exactly the image resolution and how to calculate the pixel per inch i want to give clarity on what is a pixel and what is a resolution then we will see what is an image resolution and what is a pixel per inch right so you already know the term pixel a pixel is nothing but a color spot that is displayed on a monitor if you see anything on the monitor that is because of the pixels only so these pixels or a color spots are different different color spots that are displayed on a monitor for example an image that is displayed on monitor consists of thousands of small pixels so here i have taken one image so this is a geeks for geeks symbol so here this picture consists of a thousands of small pixels that are arranged in horizontal and vertical that is in the form of a two dimensional grid then images appear so this pixel is divided the image area into uniform two dimensional grid of pixels like lines and columns just like lines and columns so that you can able to see the picture every pixel has some color or brightness value right or wrong obviously right because if you see this image you can clearly understand each and every pixel is having some color so the white color pixel is there black color pixel is there green color pixel is there and these pixel colors is also having the brightness values some white color is showing like a bright color and the black here light and the green is also light so it's a brightness value is also present for each and every pixel and the value the color as well as the value now it is clear for you what exactly the pixel is it's a color spot that is appeared on the screen okay now what about the resolution so in display screen the number of horizontal and vertical pixels you call it as a resolution sounds interesting right so if you see the screen here the number of horizontals so this is the horizontal and this is the vertical okay horizontal and vertical pixels on the screen you call it as a resolution an image is defined by number of these pixels represented on it so if higher the pixel the image the quality is the greater if lower the pixels the image quality is lesser what do you mean by this term okay don't get confused i'll explain clearly with a diagram before going to that there are two types of resolutions one is the image resolution and another is the screen resolution image resolution means in the screen i'm just talking about image that is present on the complete screen so i'm just working on this image image resolution is what and screen resolution is the complete screen resolution so now we are going to discuss about the image resolution so we all know that the main the computer graphics whatever we are discussing so the computer graphic it's a subject so this computer graphic is an art of drawing pictures charts lines etc on the computer screen using any programming language so with the help of the programming languages only we are able to display the images charts and the lines on the computer screen so that art of representation you call it as a computer graphics so in the computer graphics if you want to display anything on the screen image resolution should be one of the important concept so a resolution of an image is total number of pixels you call it as a total number of pixels suppose if you take a small screen so if suppose these are the small pixels so this you call it as a resolution of the image if you see this diagram in the diagram so here this is the resolution of the image so the total number of pixels indicates the resolution of an image the image resolution is generally describes in pixel per inch what you call it as a pixel per inch you call it as a resolution so if you want to increase the higher resolution of image a higher resolution of image consisting of more number of pixel per inch created which creates a high quality means suppose this is an image in this image if you want the higher resolution so here this is suppose it's take it's a 1 inch 
in a one inch if more number of pixels obviously the resolution is high means you are able to see the picture in a clear manner and what about the low resolution of image less number of pixels per inch so in the same pixel per inch if there are less number of pixels like here one here one here one like that a lot of gap is there in between the pixels that gap means the lot of density the pixel density is low which indicates the lower quality means the image is looking like a stretched image so if you see this diagram this the first one is having the higher resolution because there are more number of pixels per inch all the pixel density is very less so means all are side by side so because of that it is high resolution whereas in this picture in the second image the less number of pixel per inch means the image is stretched whenever you stretch the image whenever you zoom the image obviously the pixels will be spread and the image quality becomes less so if you see this term i am talking about an image one pixel per inch suppose if you take only one inch in this one inch there was only one pixel this is completely you take it as a pixel generally it represent like a squares or a dots it's a based on the screen type so this completely one pixel in one inch so if you take the second picture in this only one inch of screen if you see here there are two pixels that means totally you are having four grids so this is for every inch there are two pixels so total here the four squares will be appear so two pixels per inch means there will be a four pixels and if you take this picture in the one inch there are four pixels per inch so if you take one pixel per inch the pixel density don't get confused student if you are see the term pixel density it is nothing but how close the pixels are placed on screen that you call it as a pixel density so how close suppose this is an inch in one inch this is the closeness of the pixels how close the pixels are placed on the screen that you call it as a density so for one inch only one square will be appeared suppose two pixels per inch so in one inch if there are two pixels per inch you will get four double pixels per inch if you take four pixels per inch for four is 16 16 squares it can appear if you take eight pixels per inch you will get 64 squares 64 pixel per square okay why we are calculating the pixel per inch what is the use of calculating the pixel per inch because if you want to know the pixel density so then you need to calculate the pixel per inch so to find out the density of a pixel then we need to calculate the pixel per inch and remember students density and pixel per inch is depends on the screen size and the screen resolution so what is your screen size and what is the screen resolution based on that only the density and the pixel will be there so if you take a full screen image with the resolution 200 by 200 pixel per inch it's nothing but the height and the width of the pixel so here i have taken a picture which is of having the height 200 and the width 200 pixel per inch that means 200 columns per pixels per inch and each column consisting of 200 pixels per inch so what is the total pixels that are present in this image in this image the colored pixels that are appeared on this image that are present in this image are 40000 pixels in square inches okay so this is about exactly the image resolution now let's have a look on what exactly the pixel per inch how you are going to calculate the pixel per inch and one thing that i need to be cleared from my side students that is if you want to calculate the pixel per inch you need to follow only two steps if you follow these two steps then you can easily calculate the pixel per inch whatever the question they are given so the first one is calculate the diagonal size in pixels using pythagoras theorem let me write calculate diagonal size of size in pixels using pythagoras theorem so we already learned this pythagoras theorem in our schooling so just recall that and first you need to calculate the diagonal size so this is the diagonal size you need to calculate the diagonal size in pixels 
in pixels we have to find and the second one is divide the diagonal size by diagonal size in inches divide a diagonal size whatever you have calculated just now that is this one by diagonal size in inches diagonal size in inches okay just remember these two points now let's have a look on the problem so here i had given a problem what is a pixel per inch for the screen so i'll explain this problem uh, by drawing so what is the question they are given what is a pixel per inch for the screen resolution is of 300 by 400 on screen diagonal of six inches they are given so they are given this is an image okay the height here is a 300 and the width here is a 400 so this is 300 by 400 you usually call height and the width and the screen diagonal is six inches Okay, so here they are given it as a six inches. So one, two, three, four, five. So one, two, three, four, five, six total. This line is divided a having six inches. This is one inch and this is one inch, one inch, one inch. So total six inches. The diagonal screen diagonal is divided into six inches. Now what you need to be calculated the pixel per inch for the screen resolution you need to find so this is your inch right or wrong so in this inch how many pixels are there pixel per inch how many pixels are there that you need to be find out so how you're going to find out now let's have a look here here i have already written the uh, solution i'll explain each and every step in the next coming videos I'll write the problem. Let the given screen resolution is 300 by 400. Okay, they are given. And the next is screen inch, inches, they are given as a six inches. Okay, so total it is six inches, they are given. Now, what is the first step I said? If you want to calculate the pixel per inch, the first step is calculate the diagonal size in pixels by using the Pythagoras theorem. So, okay, now let's start calculating. Calculating the diagonal in pixels using the resolution so that is using the height and the width. So apply the Pythagoras theorem. So this is your screen and divided the screen diagonally of six inches. Now apply the Pythagoras theorem. What is the Pythagoras theorem? Suppose if A, B means it's the Pythagoras theorem, it's nothing but root of A square plus B square. Root of A square by plus B square. So a diagonal in pixels is equal to height square plus width square whole power 1 by 2. It's nothing but root of height square. What is the height? 300 square plus what is the width? Width is nothing but 400 square. Okay. I'm writing the steps. What is the 300 square? 300 is square. It's nothing but 90,000 plus what is the 400 square? 400 square is nothing but 1,60,000. So if you add this, you'll get it as 2,50,000. So what is the square root of 2,50,000? It's nothing but 500. So you got the diagonals in pixel. So this diagonal in pixel, you got it as a 500. So what is the second step? Now you need to be calculate diagonal in pixel. Means pixel per inch, you need to be calculate. So what is the formula for pixel per inch? If you want to calculate the pixel per inch, the formula is diagonal in pixels, whatever you have calculated now by diagonal in inches so what is the diagonal in inches they are given six inches right so 500 divided by six you will get 84.33 pixel per inch so for each pixel per inches there are 84 pixels or there means in every inch there are 84.33 pixels will be appeared so this is how you need to be calculate student. So it's a very easy, if you take any image, if you know the screen resolution in the height and the width, if you want to calculate the pixel per inch, how many pixels that are present in per inch, you have to apply this formula. First, you need to calculate the diagonals in pixels. If the inches and the resolution is given, and then you have to apply the formula. Pixel per inch is equal to diagonals in pixels and diagonal in inches okay so thanks for watching if you like it please like this video thank you